Hello everyone, this is Manjula Devi P, Assistant Professor in GFGC Kanakpura. In this session, I am going to discuss about strategic management of BBA 6 semester Bangalore University Unit 2 Environment Appraisal. In that, we have a subtopic called Demographic Environment. When we are doing the Environment Appraisal, Demographic environment also makes a very important part of it. So, what are the variables that we have in demographic environment and uh, while scanning this environment, what are the things to be considered and how they are going to affect the business is the subject matter of this discussion. So, what is demographic? Basically, demographic denotes the characteristic of the population in a specific area. That area could be a country, a state, a region, a locality, it could be any place, but the characteristic of the particular population in that um, called as demography. So, what are the demographic features or demographic variables? We have the factors like age, race, income, uh, like mortality rate, education, health, life expectancy. So, all these comes under the demographic characters. So, when we are doing uh, business analysis or the environmental analysis, the data respect to these factors within the targeted demographic variable of interest as it can affect the growth and success of the business. So, we consider these variables when we are doing the environmental scanning because this is very important for the growth and success of any business in that particular locality or in that particular area where we are doing this demographic analysis. Like if you are doing a macro perspective, suppose if you want to um, start your business or if you want to expand your business abroad, the country where you are going, okay, suppose you want to uh, start up your unit in Australia or in America or in United Kingdom or in uh, South Korea or, or in Japan or wherever. So, do you think the characteristic of the demography there is same? No, of course not, is not it? So, there the attitude towards work, the attitude of the people and their education background, their income level, the what do you call the caste system there and their beliefs, values, attitudes, everything is different, is not it? So, whenever you are going to a locality, suppose I took the example of the country. So, you need to know or you need to have a thorough analysis of the demographic factors there. Same way within the country also, wherever you are working, suppose we are spread across so many states, in the states we have so many regions. So, and each state, each region could have its own demographic characteristics. Okay? So, uh, it is important for a, for a business when they are doing the appraisal of the environment, look into the demographic factors and right from starting your business, if you are intending to start the business, right from your starting business or your uh, the way you take the business decision, the, you, you want to take an expansion decision, you want to add a new product to your product line or any business decision which is strategic in nature for that matter, it is important you have this demographic data with you and analyze your decision in the lights of this demographic factors. So, what are the major uh, demographic variables? So, here I have given very few, but there are so many in fact. So, the population changing structure of the population that means maybe the age wise. Uh, maybe the uh, what do you call the education wise, so um, even the marital status, even the attitude of the people towards work, all this becomes part of the structure of population. Changing household patterns, so uh, what is the household pattern there? Are they in, do they believe in joint family system or in the nuclear family? Or say in, in foreign countries, it is like after a certain age, even children leave the house and they live separate uh, apart from uh, like they live separate from the parents, though they are in the same city. 
that even see we can see in the metro cities also is not it where if they they live according to the convenience of the, uh, the place according to their colleges or the work instead of staying the place where all the, the parents or like all of them are staying in one family is not it. So, like it, it depends the household patterns have changed only during weekend they will all meet together or on occasions they meet together because of the busy work style. So, the changing household patterns. So, why this has become important for us? Suppose if you are if you are an online delivery uh, business, then this comes as a boon for you because uh, all all these online food delivery or online uh, uh, whatever the delivery of the goods or commodities. So they all go for such thing because they don't have time to cook or to uh, like they maybe they are living uh, single in one room. So, for one person it is difficult for them to cook and clean things. So, they would rely on such things. So, what I am trying to say this becomes important from the point of view of business the household pattern in that particular locality. Then geographic shifts in population. So, what is the mobility to what extent they have mobility ok. Uh, do they stick suppose in some uh, villages or same in some places they do not go anywhere whatever the opportunity available they will just stick to that place and they will just work within that. But when it comes to some areas they would like to go out and they would like to explore the world and work elsewhere. So, uh, like ge geographic shifts in population also becomes the extent of migration all that matters when we are doing the demographic analysis. Then what is their education and what is their preference towards the white collar job or are they into more into manual labor or uh, are they into more uh, professional education they are more doctors, more engineers, more lawyers or more MBA holders or do they are, are do, do that locality has more um, degree holders or so likewise the education pattern of that particular locality also becomes part of the demographic variable. The education background or pattern tells us about the availability of skilled and unskilled laborers, even the standard of living, even the attitude of the people all that can be you know uh, could be gauged based on the education level of that particular locality. Then increasing diversity, so in that particular locality is it diverse? Uh, like the people with different background, different caste, different religion, different languages do they live in that place ok. Suppose if you take the example of metro cities for example, Bangalore if you take. So, you find all type of people there is not it if you go to an apartment in the apartment you will find uh, people from every state in fact ok. So, likewise what is the extent of diversity, but if you go to a village uh, somewhere a nearby village. So, you can see people who are of uh, the same uh, caste or religion or maybe there is a slight change in the uh, diversity pattern, but you find like similar rituals, similar language, similar customs. But if you go to a city where people from all parts of the world are living then you find more diversity there is not it. So, this more diversity also poses so many opportunities for the business. Yeah, I have given the same thing population size, geographic distribution, the ethnic mix of the population, how diverse they are, how the income distribution like uh, is it equally distributed or among the population there is too much of inequality between rich and poor or are they all in the same uh, economical background. So, all these things uh, becomes important for the demographic variables. When you are doing the environmental scanning for taking any such strategic decision, it becomes important to look into all these variables. Yeah, I have given in detail about the population size, birth rate, family size and uh, increase or decrease in total population. So, when there is more population, it is like more market ok. The density of population gives the business the opportunity to have more business there is not it. 
So, you can see in cities all type of shops, all uh, even the clothes itself like in one uh, business street you can see there are hundreds of clothes shops and every shop gets their own customers. But if you see in a suburb or in a village you find hardly few because the population itself is less there or the uh, spending pattern of the population towards clothing also may be less. So, there are only few shops for that. Okay. So, likewise the population size also it is nothing but the market size if you see from the business point of view. Geographic distribution yeah as I said the uh, relocation, the migration or the characteristic of that particular area. So, all that matters. Ethnic mix as I said the diversity among the population of different language, different caste, different race, different customs, traditions. So, all that uh, matters. So, income distribution changes in the income patterns of the uh, family or of the population also becomes important because income is something which is essential for people for having their own demand. Okay. So, the moment the income level is more, so you can expect more demand for goods and services. Okay. So, actually uh, it is very interesting, uh, we have something called as elasticity concept, income elasticity is always greater than 1. So, that means, if your income increases by 100 rupees, okay. your demand increases more th for more than 100 rupees, it is always like that. Okay. So, the moment you get a new job, so you suppose you get a job of say, say 25,000, so your lifestyle would change completely. You start demanding for more clothing, more footwear and you want to buy a new bike, you want to buy a new mobile phone. Okay. So, that means, the mobile phone, the bike might be much much costlier than your annual income, but you will go for taking a loan, you pay EMI, but you want to buy that, is not it. At that point, the demand is more, I mean the value of the demand that you are having is more than the income that you have, uh, that is increased in your uh, monthly income or uh, annual income, is not it. So, that means, this income distribution of, uh, of the people also becomes important to assess the demand pattern or the, to anticipate the demand for the goods and services. Yes, so if we have a recap of what we discussed so far, we discussed about demographic factors of the environment which denotes the characteristic of the population in the area, the characteristics in terms of the age, race, income, education health, marital status, uh, asset ownership, employment status, geographical location, so all those things becomes part of the demography. So, this data uh, is very important because this gives the base for making any strategic decision to anticipate the demand, to uh, you know make a production plan, to have a marketing strategy. So, all these data serves as the base data. So, to have the strategic plans towards various aspects of the business. So, these are some of the references which you can go through for uh, further uh, understanding of the concept. Hope you have understood the concept what we have discussed today in this session. So, let us meet in the next session. Thank you very much.